Hello folks, my name's Adam and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for clicking on this video and I'd like to thank everybody that subscribed, um, all my recent subscribers, thank you very much for joining us on this channel. To all my uh, subscribers that have been with me for a few months now, thank you very much for continuing to subscribe, to watch the videos and to comment, it all means that the channel continues to grow we're up to 602 subscribers this morning so you know we're creeping up there hopefully you know we'll get <clears throat> we'll get right up get if we get above a, uh, a thousand i think it is i can start doing live streams <laughs> off me uh either from the phone or um from the gopro so i could uh do a bit of a live stream and answer some of your questions that you want to put to me but you know we'll be a few months away from that yet or well, maybe a few years who knows but hopefully one day we'll be able to bring that to the channel um, today I'm going to show you I've had a few um, subscribers and I forget now which uh, which ones I've asked about how I go on about finding <coughs> parking now for me I don't use um, unless I really have to I don't use truck stops or uh, motorway services now that's my choice um, I can use them we don't have any sort of like snap account or anything like that but I can use them and I'll get reimbursed uh, in the expenses at the end of the week so it's not like um, well actually it's the week after so you know when you get your wage the week after so it's you know it's it depends you know it can cost you quite a bit of money when you're showing it out yourself but that's not really the reason I don't use them it's more to do with um, they're not very quiet some of these motorway services um, if I was going to stop anywhere I do prefer truck stops because they have quiet areas you know what I mean they have the fridges and what have you over to one side and as long as you're in there early enough you'll get a parking spot away from them and you do generally get a good night's sleep and the bigger ones have changeover areas but the services, you can have a fridge pull in the side here, you can have someone just pull across the front of you who's having a 45 and has his engine running. You can get somebody coming in doing a changeover and it does get loud and noisy. Um, but obviously safety reasons as well, depending on what you're carrying. Me being on flatbed working, carrying a lot of construction stuff, they'll have a good job of getting it, any of it off. They'll have to turn up with a, a forklift or a crane to get some of it off. Where obviously some of you lads and some of you lads that are doing tests now are thinking about getting into the HGV industry you will be carrying um, you know stuff that can be stolen whether it's beer cans of pot tins of beans anything like that you know and obviously you're getting up to like electrical goods and things like that it's just a big no-no to stop in some of the places I stop you need to be on um, what they call secure parking which there's not many of them around the country the services your trucks get broken into uh, well curtains get slashed and things go missing on motorway services and on some truck stops the ones where they fenced off and they have um, a barrier and they have security on are the ones that are classed as secure parking and I think there's only maybe six seven eight around the country there's not many which we class when we was doing the high consequence dangerous goods that um, we would class as being safe and secure to park overnight so anyway let's get on with the three things that will help you find parking and will also help you navigate through your day as well um, one of them is the sat nav now at the moment I've changed over to a Garmin which in my opinion I made a mistake I should have stuck with TomTom Tom. I've always had TomTom Tom, and I should have stuck with TomTom Tom. But I changed over to Garmin and I don't find it as good as and as easy to use as the TomTom -tom, but it still has truck stops and services and rest areas and things like that so you can use it for parking now on the on the TomTom -tom, it's so easy just to go in into your truck nav go into point of interest and find a point of interest near you or a point of interest within so many miles of you and click what point of interest HGV parking, laybys for HGVs, truck stops, some motorway services, or they call rest areas, I think, and that will bring up a list then of what what you want, and then you can have a look down that list and think, well, that's 20 kilometres away, truck stop, I'll go there, click it in, and then obviously 
with it being a truck sat nav as well it'll direct you there using truck routes avoiding weight limits low bridges etc with restrictions so a sat nav is vital for one for um, avoiding bridges and things like that and two it will give you if you have a proper truck sat nav um, points of interest of for parking and then any parking that you find that's you know you you you've parked up somewhere you found a little industrial estate or anything like that you could go in and add um your own points of interest and name the file as whatever parking and then put all your favorites in there and put something like industrial estate peterborough something like that and obviously you'll just be able to direct straight to that um that area and the other one obviously is a good trucker's um Atlas. A good trucker's map of Britain will give you um, obviously on the map it will show you so if you're in a certain area you can have a look round on the map for like we're here now I've got opened up the page on Wolverhampton and Walsall and I can look here you've got Hilton Park services and then on the M6 tour you've got Norton Cairns services and things like that and it would have probably had at one point when it was there Wolverhampton truck stop but Wolverhampton truck stop's not there so if you was in West Bromwich for instance and you're thinking right where's the nearest services for me it shows frankly as well just on the bottom of the map there you've got free services if you've not got a lot of time you need you want to get to a services you can see that on your atlas and it'll also show you any truck stops that are in the area so that's another one it shows you everything as well um, you know, 6,400 bridge heights, over 1,450 1, weight limits, over 250 width restrictions, over 4,500 speed camera locations. It has 100 like big scale town and city plans and mobile lay-bys, calves, gourmet or gruesome. <laughs> Our special report. So it also tells you about any, it's got a report about any, um, lay by calves whether they whether it's good food or whether it's gruesome food <laughs> which is just obviously a little bit that that one Phillips have added in to that one but there's all different ones in there there's all different maps you can get and um the one I had before that I'm not sure which one that was it was actually better than that one for the truck stops and stuff it showed every little I had actually a list of truck stops as well and then obviously a reference page of where they were so the next one and the main one that a lot of drivers use now and which I find absolutely brilliant is an app called HGV Parking. Now this app gives you a lot more than just parking but it really is a go-to system if you want to find somewhere to park and you want actual um, reviews from drivers that have parked there. So let me go on now and let me show you how this app works. So as you can see, HGV parking, click on the app. It takes a little while and it, it does have a little bit of a glitch at the moment where it's saying that you're not connected to the internet when it comes up, but don't worry about that because it, it is. I know a lot of people have been complaining about it and I don't know if it needs an upgrade or something like that, but there you go, it's saying, network error, please verify that you have internet connection, which we do. So we're going to go in here and it's actually found where I am. I'm here just um, in Wrexham at Johnstown. Just outside Johnstown is where I'm tipping at a landfill site at the moment. So let's just say tonight I want to park. So you go on there and you go search site. So let's say we want to park tonight around Birmingham. And we'll search Birmingham and there we go as you can see it's put a hell of a lot of places up now a lot of these are different things like you click on a black one there and that's a bridge height so the easiest way to determine the parking and narrow these down click your top corner and look it's showing you low bridges 190 fuel 147 and the top one there parking 107 is what we want so we'll click parking straight away it's reduced down 
So where, so let's just say for instance, we're around Leamington Spa. So this one here, this purple one will be, um, <coughs> this is Fortway Banbury. So it just looks like it's a road. Now it's got a rating of five stars. There's 20 spaces to park. And then here, where you've got general site information, pub and shop 10 minutes away. Cut through the bollards at the top of the estate and follow the road through. Town is another minute or so from there. And then you've got reviews from Andrew on the 28th of the 6th, 2019. Fantastic little spot, nice and quiet. We'll be here again. Another one from Andrew. Has he just put the same thing? Here he has. He's repeated himself. And another one here. Decent place to use. Plenty of quiet side roads for the main drag to use. Not a bad place to park, reasonably quiet, plenty of parking and on the whole pretty quiet. Though one night I parked there and a local hardcore band were practicing in the industrial unit. Personally, I like their sound but might not be to everyone's taste. So obviously there must have been an industrial unit where someone's, some band's playing, playing the drums and everything. But it's handy to know that, I mean it would have been nice if you put which unit it was so you could avoid it. But still handy to know. So that's a purple one, that was where we clicked a purple one. Now let's click this red one, see what that shows. Now I'm not 100% sure what the different colours mean. I know one of them represents truck stops, uh, lorry park. So the red one could be 160 spaces. The cost there, 20, 20 pound. It's got five star rating, I think. How do you rate that? I'm not sure, but. And it's called PJM Lorry Park. You can call it, you can press that, obviously there, under PGM Lorry Park at the very top gives you the address and postcode that is telling me how far it is away from me now which in the top right hand corner of your screen there is 99.4 miles and it's 1 hour 54 minutes that's from my location where I am now there's 160 spaces there's no walking time to amenities because there'll be amenities on site the cost is £20 and then as you scroll down Big T this truck stop is permanently closed well, that's great. <laughs> but at least you know now it's closed. And that was put on on the 1st of the 3rd, 2001. But you could, also, you could always try and call them by just clicking the call button. And they'll take you directly to their phone number. And then you can call them. So let's find another one then. So that was the red one, weren't it? So let's try another red one here near Rugby. This should be another truck stop. Yeah, NT truck stop. That's the night hour truck stop at Rugby. This is now like owned by Storbarts. Again, it's showing you 170 miles away, 1 hour 59 minutes. There's 240 spaces and it costs you £20 to park. This has got a 4 star rating, so that star rating is working. Um, general site information, NTL truck stop. Since it's been taken over by Storbacks, you struggle to park. You have inconsiderate drivers revving their engines and doing trailer swaps all hours of the night. I won't be stopping here again by choice. Now, to be honest with you, I have had that at this truck stop even when it was NTL truck stop before it was Storbart truck stop and I've been guilty of doing changeovers here myself it was a regular place where we would do changeovers and sometimes we'd just pull on there at like 7 o'clock in the morning and do a changeover when people are still in bed so again truck stops are not always ideal but they do have a place right up in the top corner where they park all the fridges out the way but he's gone on to say, excellent truck stop, quality food, £20 parking with free shower, £5 meal voucher and £1.50 breakfast voucher. Very secure, excellent staff, good shop, clean showers, toilets well lit and ensuite fuel bunker. Always try to stop here if in the area. Food, great showers can be a little bit noisy. So in fact, that's somebody else actually. That's a different, um, a different review. And then the third review... Everything here that you need, but expensive in my opinion. Very noisy through the night. So again, you make your choice. You can think, right, let's look at something else. Now let's look at one of these grey ones. I'm guessing this will be an industrial state or a lay-by. Lutterworth Road. Um, big lay-by, five minutes from M1. Um, junction 20. Nothing there, but popular uh, but popular and quiet. Does, someone's put, does what it says on the tin so it's basically a lay by there's probably no amenities within walking distance um, you've just got a road near me you haven't got a postcode but obviously someone's give you there come off the M1 at junction 20 and it's five minutes and it's big lay by five minutes away from there 
but like you said there's no amenities and everything but it sounds like it's a decent quiet lay by so let's go up here now and click on a purple one here near Leicester Swan Street Leicester so the purple ones look like they're industrial estates and streets um, six spaces nobody's put any walking time to amenities so there probably isn't anything great for city centre and very quiet too this is now closed for redevelopment road closed at both ends so you know what I mean obviously we've clicked on now about four four to five of these and two of them have been permanently closed one truck stop and one site but at least you know at least you're not going to head to it you know that's the good thing that drivers can add information on so that was a purple one um, so let's have a look what these green ones are. Click a green one. Ah, these are so the green ones are motor services or, or, or motorway services, should I say? So this is M1 Donington Park, 60 spaces, cost eight pound eighteen pound fifty. Um, Burger King, Costa, M and S, W H Smiths, etc. Two showers located in the gents. No key required, and they're available 24/7. And obviously it's motor M1 Junction 23 A. And you know, basically, that's just a uh, <clears throat> that's just a uh, truck stop. So let's click this red one here near Denby. So this is cattle market. So these cattle markets at night are used like truck stops. I've been on a few of these. And um, this is Checkers Road, Derby. It's got a postcode. It's got 30 spaces. It costs you a tenner. Now, normally, you don't have calves on or anything. Let's see what it says. Great place to spend the night. Five quid to park. Which well, it's a tenner now, so this is an old review. Yeah, this is from 2014. So this app's been going a long time. Though you need, uh, though you need the change as the park is a ticket machine. Bar staff friendly and happy to see you. Food tasty and big portions and very well priced. And a tasty pint as well. We'll definitely be back here, though sign says no weekend parking and only from 17.30 to 0700 through the week that's because it's a cattle market so during the weekend it'll be used you know as a cattle market and during the week before half past seven and obviously they want you all off site by seven o'clock in the morning so they can't start bringing in the cattle wagons to offload the cattle and what have you and that's the reason for that and there's a few of these around the country but by the sounds of that you get a good pint and a belly full of food so for a tenner, obviously he's put a fiver, but that was in 2014, so for a tenner, not a bad parking spot at all. So it looks like we say this one here now. Here's a BP, so that's looking like that these uh, purple ones are motorway services and things like that. But as you can see, if we zoom back out again, you've got all them around Birmingham. We haven't pressed on a yellow one, have we? Let's see what a yellow one is. That just looks like another. Not terribly obvious that you can park here, but the council lists the location as having 10 spaces for HDVs and coaches on it. Alright, so that could be like a coach park type thing, which during the night you can use a lot of these court, court parks, uh, coach parking facilities. So it's £5 to park. Walking time to amenities is three minutes. And um, it's a uh, ten pound. No, sorry, there's ten spaces. So I'm reading something else while I'm doing that. That's not a review. That that's just the general site information. So there's no reviews for that site. So let's try another one of them yellow ones here near Bridge North. Try that one. We've just done that one. Let's try the other one. Seven Street Bridge North, coaching HGV spaces towards the back of the car park. So yeah, you around towns and, and places like that, you will find coach parking, and you can use these coach parking at night. There's one at Hereford behind the football ground, that's a quite a good one. And there's chippies there, and then you just walk through. There's pubs and chippies. You're right in the centre, right behind the football ground. So this has got six paces six spaces sorry it's two minutes to the amenities and it costs you a fiver and that's usually a machine now nowadays obviously you'd be expecting there to be okay, I'm done. You the paper? yeah follow him now yeah 
He's going to go up that town that road and turn round. Right. If you turn round in the same spot and then come back here, just to, I'll just take these off the back end of your wagon. All right. Sorry about that. We had to uh, had to spin the truck round. <laughs> Work comes first before the videos. So yeah, as you can see, obviously, um, it's quite a comprehensive app, and as you can look from, um, you can see all the different coloured symbols. Now, if you're using this app a lot, I'm guessing that you know you'll work out what each one of these symbols means. Um, that red one there, Veil Calf. Let's try the other red one. Truck stop. So looking at that, the red ones look like calves and truck stops. See what the purple one is. Purple one looks more like industrial estates and laybys. Yeah, definitely a uh, industrial estate. So that one's that one say there. Um, Ten minute walk into village, and there is a kebab van at the top of the road. There's 30 spaces, and it's a 10 minute walk to the amenities. And these darker coloured ones, black or purple, I can't work out what they are. Six spaces. That says BP. Don't follow the postcode, use the postcode as a guide. Only the garages are easily found on the A46 north and south. So some of these um, larger petrol stations, uh, filling stations, with HGV pumps do provide a couple of spaces and they're free. I want most of them, the Shell ones and BP ones that I parked on are free. You have to get on there early, they're not secure. And like I said, there's six spaces on this one. So as you use the app more, you'll get used to. I don't use this app as often as a lot of the newer drivers will because obviously the older and experienced drivers will have their preferred places to park. They'll have them programmed into the sat nav. Um, you know, um, obviously we've got like a lot of depots that we park at and things like that as you've seen from my videos you know I can park obviously at all our main depots and the places that I load like London Gateway and places like that and then from the you know the up and down the M6 up and down the A1 M M1 M6 that network that I use quite a lot I have got a lot of regular parking spaces that I already know so I don't use this app as much as somebody new to the game would um, but I would use it in a situation where I'm in an area where I haven't got a parking space you know and I think right I, you know I need to be parked up in the next half an hour I've just said for instance I've, I came here last night um, and it was it was half past five when I arrived here um, they finished at six so they wouldn't, they wouldn't unload me and as I came out I just thought I'll just have a quick look and there was one literally four minutes away. Little in, little industrial estate, it's just one road, you could get five trucks on it. And uh, there was a petrol station and a McDonald's at the end. So if you wanted anything from, you know, if you wanted a McDonald's, you know, you wanted a bit of hot food or you wanted anything from the petrol station, they were there, I had everything in, so I didn't need to use any amenities. But it just gave me a better place to park than the laybys on the main, on the main road because it's quite a busy road and the laybys are quite close to the road so it gave me a nice spot to park away from um, noise and it was quiet and it was exactly what it said on there two minute walk to the to the garage and McDonald's quiet and it had about five spaces for trucks and that was exactly what it said on the tin so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's helped out anybody but new to the game and worried about where they're going to park and anybody that's not seen the app before who's been driving for 20 years it might help you so thanks again for watching you all stay safe be good be kind and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now